sorry if you hear any cars. If you hear the occasional car in the background, just pretty much ignore it. I live right next to the road. So, yeah. In my two and a half years of playing Risk of Rain, it's either that I'm too stupid or lazy to find out this game mode exists. I've been playing Monsoon for like, what, two and a half years now? And I'm like, and I'm like, damn, is this really like the highest game mode Risk of Rain has to offer? Then recently I uh, checked out some game modes on the mod. <laughs> this this music is way too loud. Wait, hold up. All right. Recently I checked out some mods in the workshop and found the more difficulties mod, and that mod introduced a bunch of new difficulties. The title self-explanatory. But, but, uh, but it introduced Armageddon, which is a really, really, really hard mod. Like, so hard that it gives you a rare item just to help you, and that's not even enough. I'm like, damn, okay, I want a new difficulty, but I don't want it to be stupidly freaking hard. And then, out of, I don't know if it's just me being stupid or lazy, it took me... Until now, my two and a half, with two and a half years of playing Risk of Rain, it took me just now to find this. Eclipse. Oh my god, why didn't I find this sooner? So yeah, Risk of Rain has this, Risk of Rain has two alternate game modes, Simulacrum and Eclipse. I forgot what Simulacrum does, but I know Mason's doing it and he's already having a hard time on it. <laughs> But Eclipse is a mode that it oh you can you can see what it does right here. It, basically, what it does is that it basically adds modifiers to your game on the monsoon difficulty, making it basically post game, basically like a post monsoon run. Like if you got if you get bored monsoon, this is basically where you go next. And I'm like, damn. I am really stupid and lazy to take this long to find out this beautiful ass game mode. Wait, am I recording? I am recording. So yeah, this is Monsoon. Uh, there are good news and bad news about Monsoon. Let's get. Let's start with the good news. It is a challenge. Even after playing Typhoon, which is basically a difficulty higher than Monsoon, th this uh. This monsoon modifying challenge runs are still a quite a challenge, especially with the mods I have. And that's the bad news. I have mods. When I when I was doing these eclipse runs, sh oh my god, don't need to show off your goddamn bike. When I'm doing these eclipse runs, I I do it through my modded game, not my not through the vanilla game. Some of the mods just completely uh, what you call this completely negate the modifiers effects and some mods just completely bite me in the ass so yeah so this isn't so going into this this is not a 100% vanilla legit eclipse runs these are slightly modified modded eclipse runs just just to clarify uh the other bad news See how there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight? See how there's eight eclipses? Yeah. In order to fully complete an eclipse run, you have to go through character by character and beat and run eight times to beat the eclipse run for that character. So it's gonna take a butt fuckingly long time to beat eclipse and there's like what? So count how many characters you have to do eight eclipse runs. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Thirteen characters with eight eclipse runs, averaging one to two hours each. That equals to more than a day. So holy shit, that's this. The, yeah. So yeah. I'm kind of determined to kind of beat all eight eclipses for each character. I say kind of because just like everything in life, 
I have commitment issues and I'm probably going to drop this for a bit, maybe pick up, pick it back up sometime in the further future. But yeah, I kind of want to make this into a series where I go through each character, um, uh, each character's eight eclipses through my modded Risk of Rain profile. So yeah, I'm going to make this into a series as the best I can until either I get bored or just drop it uh, altogether. I'm probably just going to get bored. But yeah, note that this series will take long because it's eight eclipse runs. And uh, I'm kind of rusty lately, so yeah. And hopefully um, I'm committed to this series more than I was committed to my gyroscope series, which I just dropped. Because I just realized I, I'm too pussy to play any other games with, gyros with gyroscope. I kind of have that like audience mentality where like there's an audience always watching me every time I play like competitive games. So yeah, I just couldn't go through with the gyroscope series. But... I'll probably go through with this more, though fear won't be the one that's killing it this time. It's more boredom, considering I have to go through eight Eclipse runs with 13 characters. Did you know that, by the way? It's fucking stupid, but also gives me more content. So yeah, going into this Eclipse run series, I'm going to do Huntress first, because uh, I, I will die in the sill. She is the best character in this game. She's squishy. But she has literally a move that makes her less squishy. Eh, I'm yapping, but yeah, I'm just gonna go Huntress. Oh yeah, also, <laughs> I kind this is I I uh, I recorded this intro post Eclipse, uh, post Huntress Eclipse runs. <laughs> so yeah, uh, some of the recordings you're gonna hear, some of the commentary you're gonna hear throughout the video is recorded post. Eclipse run. Just letting you know. I think I think it's pretty obvious when uh, you hear my commentary during a run. <laughs> I think you'll. I won't tell you how, but you'll definitely notice how my carrot commentary sounds like. Also, rate my intro. I'm not really good at talking in videos like this. This is the. This is like I'm doing this first take, no rehearsal, blah blah. It's just an intro, but rate my intro. See how good it is. I know it's not perfect, but this is the best I can do. So yeah, let's get into the run. Whoa, wait, one more, one more thing, one more thing, one more thing. Um, so, um, so eclipses one through seven, I recorded it like how I usually record through the NVIDIA GeForce Experience uh, cap capture the last 45 seconds thing. So, yeah, there's going to be gaps in the run for Eclipses 1 through 7. But Eclipse 8 is where I just use OBS to record the full run. I'm just letting you all know that. So, uh, if you notice any gaps between gaps in the run between 1 through 7, uh, it's because I was, I was doing the NVIDIA capture 45, last 45 seconds thing. So, yeah, enjoy the run. And I have nothing more to say. Wait a minute, I actually do have more things to say. So, yeah, if you hear the constant rattling, that's just me. When I talk, that's just me when I uh, hold my camera because I don't have a boom mic. And I'm just literally holding the camera and it's stand up to my face. And also, Eclipse 8 recording is fucked. It's completely fucked. I'm not going to bother re-recording it because it will ruin the magic of beating Eclipse 8. But yeah, you once you reach Eclipse 8 in the video, you'll know why it's fucked. I'll, I'll even tell you why it's fucked. So yeah, enjoy the video. Enjoy the runs. I love drinking lean. I love lean, Charlie. I love lean. I also just realized some of these clips are just me clipping random con random filler parts of the run just to, you know, pad out video time I get. So yeah, there's gonna be some boring clips that uh, I'll just add my commentary to make it somewhat appealing. Just letting you guys know. Eclipses 1 through like 5, it's kind of a snooze fest in my opinion. The modest fires don't hit you as hard as like 6 through 8. Well, except for 1, but since I'm too lazy to move out of my mod profile, 
I have this one specific mod that just kind of negates that one modifier specifically. I'll tell you when we get there, but yeah. What's up, bitch? Oh! oh a snooze fest, I say, and yet I die. I probably should mention the Eclipse One modifier, which is every time you enter the stage in you 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 have 50 health, you start out with 50% of your health. In my opinion, that's not really a scary modifier. Hell, it's not even scary when you reach Eclipse Eight, because you're just gonna gain that health back. It's going to be harder to gain that health back as you progress further into the Eclipse run. But still, you're just going to get it back. And it's like it's not even there, in my opinion. Oh yeah, I died again. Whatever. So, I should probably tell you about my Huntress build and items that I'm going to be reaching for. So, I am so I chose the single shot because even though the triple shot does more DPS per second, uh, it sucks at early game and early game is you want to be at your best. Glaive, obviously. Uh, I don't think there's a second option to, other than Glaive. I used to I used to blink instead of the long single teleportation move because you want to be constantly moving and constantly dodging. And I chose Ballista over the Rain Arrows because Huntress is weak when it comes to damage, and you want to kill high priority targets as fast as possible. Check out this f Check out this fucking loadout You cannot get a better stuff You cannot get a better stage 1 loadout with this With like the only bad items being the watch For now and the speakers. Peep a fucking stage one loadout. Holy shit. These guys are probably. Oh my god. These guys are priority fucking kids. Flying past our fucking priority. If I'm talking pretty quietly, it's because it's freaking 5 a.m. Don't want to wake up anybody. Yeah, I have to wait for a pass me to shut up. So for items, I would recommend prior prioritizing damage and mobility because you'll be fast, nimble, and strong. You can worry about defense later. Try practicing dodging enemy attacks and avoiding heavy fights. If there's an item that you definitely really need for Huntress, it's probably going to be Topaz Brock because she and Mercenary are the only characters that can attack while sprinting, which will activate the Topaz Brock's uh, defense. So yeah. So yeah, I think I mentioned this earlier. This is not a 100% authentic Eclipse run because I have some mods that benefit me and or fuck me. And this is one of this one is this is one of these mods. Uh, it's called the Bigger Bazaar, which allows me to shop for items with money instead of lunar coins. And yeah, just letting you guys know that I'm getting additional items post stages. I mean, in between stages. In my defense, most of these items are kind of ass. Don't look at that. And uh, I'm not doing void fields. That's my excuse. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> Holy shit. Please make it. <gasps> he made it. Oh fuck. There's a find the go. <laughs> no! Just the drones. Oh, oh, oh. 
moves here. <laughs> I hate the grab move so fucking much. Uh, I'm no saint or anything. I tend to fuck up a lot, and this is one of the fuck ups. I think I forgot. Uh, I think I forgot. Uh, to record the the eclipsed one Mitrix fight, which is something I do. Uh, for the rest of the Eclipse runs, but I guess I forgot on my first try. Yeah, I see. I beat Eclipse one, but I forgot to record me beating Mitrix. So yeah, just letting you guys know, I actually beaten <laughs> Mitrix. Please believe me. And none of you are leaving until we solve this. You didn't need to raise your voice, man. Holy shit, the ass on this skin, oh my god, who made this skin, <laughs> it got an ass on it alright. Oh my god, what? Remember when I said some mods will help me and some mods will fuck me? Yeah. This is my solution to the instant teleportation mod. I guess Starstorm had an update where they added this fuck post stage 7 or 8. Which is a good balance for the instant teleportation because now I have to deal with this stupidly overpowered fuck. If this was like on the later eclipse, I would have fucking died. No! I didn't... <laughs> I didn't hit the blue portal. I'm stupid, I'm stupid, I'm baka, I'm baka.
Man, I love killing gups. Oh man, oh man, oh man. Oh my goodness! <gasps> Fuck! Holy crap. If you never played Viscarine before, you know that in order to get to Mithrix, you have to charge four pillars. But that's only if you don't have enough, uh, if you don't have good movement, which for looping two times, two to three times, I don't really get good movement unless I get a very specific item. And this item will be my favorite item and probably in every upcoming eclipse run so good in mobility and freaking damage holy crap i love this item i won't spoil this item until i uh until the uh my recording shows it Holy crap, that scared me. Oh my god. I don't know how much damage those balls do, but I ain't risking it. Okay, so the new average time for these runs are like one hour long or one Madvocate video long. This is gonna be awesome. I can just watch, I can just play Risk of Rain and watch a Madvocate. <laughs> oh. Jira, listen. Daddy's here. What are you talking about? What's the meaning of this Kakarot? As you can see with the last Mythrix fight, I was using drones. Normally, I don't use drones or equipment uh, to fight Mythrix because I want to. I want to fight Mythrix with my own strength. But since I'm doing Eclipse runs just to get it over with and not to like do like 50 loops or something like that, I have to use drones because two or three loops isn't gonna help you well it will rarely help you skip phase four matrix so yeah okay i don't have to use drones but drones definitely help me in phase four matrix some items actually do help me and later on i actually know a trick that can help me uh deal with phase four matrix super easy oh the item just fell all the way. Oh, it's all the way down there. Normally, I would pick uh, Sirens Call as the stage four go to because of the free guarantee legendary and the thrill of fighting the stage four boss. But with the MP with the storms with the Star Storm mod and the new appearing type en enemies. Uh, let's just say I don't have that leisure anymore. Normally I don't pick up Dio's best friends because it's a sign of weakness. But since I want to get these runs over with, uh, I'll, I guess I'll take it. Oh my fucking god. Yes. Ooh, I got a little too excited. Oh, for fucking nothing. 
I think it was at this point where I realized going to my go-to stage, stage four uh, siren call, was at this point a liability because even if I have good items, I still have to face the butt fuckingly hard Empyrean type enemies. On top of that, some the stage four boss. On top of that, the teleporter boss. Okay, maybe the teleporter boss is not that bad. The first time in like three years that I got resurrected by Dio's. <gasps> Holy shit, I was actually gonna get ready for bed. <gasps> Thank you, game. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Thank you so I should have bought Hobo Feathers. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. What are you gonna do, big guy? Sit on me? <laughs> Don't tempt me. <laughs> Oh my god, not again. Leave me alone. You didn't do shit last time. Yeah, this is the item I was talking about being uh, uh, being my uh, new favorite item. The head fight team may not look much, but shit, sh crazy shit can happen with this item, man. I'm telling you. It's the item that's key to skipping uh, the moon pillars. Not only that, it could seriously deal stupidly heavy damage. Don't you need to be, like, super high to get that much damage? With how stupidly jank this game is, that's no fucking problem. <laughs> oh, shit. Probably should have mentioned this during the Eclipse 2 segment, but Eclipse 2 has the modifier that decreases the teleporter radius to 50%. With the instant teleporter mod, that's no longer a challenge. But I say, with the uh, Star Storm mod and the Empyrean enemies, I think that just balances out. <laughs> I hate this item. What makes Head 5D better than every single legendary is that it completely de uh, completely negates the Eclipse 3 modifier, which is making fall damage super lethal. With Head 5T, you basically have no fall damage. Oh, it's so good. Oh. I forgot how awesome charge perforator is. I mean, not charge perforator, royal capacitor. Charge perforator is better, but royal capacitor is okay. What's the item? Oh, it's not bad now. Just really useless later, and I'll get into that why. No! Oh, that would have been some swag. Wait, wait, wait. We do it again. You're gonna redeem yourself. Mmm. Oh. Mmm. Oh, one more, one more big, big ass jump. Okay, that wasn't as big, but. Oh, okay, I was not. No. That was awesome. I'm starting to like you, headset. Oh, nar. Oh, shit! Oh, shit. <laughs> 
Is that Wake of Vulture so about Catalyst? <laughs> yep, well, he's dead and I can't get the item. This right here is why Head 5T is awesome. With a little bit of speed and a slope that you can smoothly go up on, you can gain insanely great heights. We don't need... Is that too far? We don't need jump pads when we're going. Did we skip it? Did we skip it? Uh, I don't think skipped it. <laughs> Shit. Oh no. Oh my god, he has- Oh no. No. <laughs> Oh my god! Shuriken with Mithrix, it's like, oh, I'm, I don't even want to touch that. But most of all, I'm. Hey, settle down. I'm, Take it easy. I'm, what the stuff about the camera? Uh, yeah, I'm not gonna add any more mods to keep it fair, but I did add one more mod, and it's the Sunken Tombs mod. It's basically an additional stage 5 map, so you don't have to only play uh, uh, Sky Meadows. It's not Sky Meadows is not a bad map. It's just that I'm tired of playing it for like two and a half years. So yeah, Sunken Tombs, yeah, an additional stage five map. Even though it's just a reskin of Deeper Voids, this Eclipse modifier doesn't look, doesn't feel that bad for now. It will definitely bite me in the ass later stages. Holy shit! <laughs> Fuck! Did I kill him? Oh my god! <laughs> I did not know fucking Huntress has the mercenary push tech too. My dumbass forgot to clip me beating Mithrix. And this isn't even the same run. This is like two like two runs after the last clip. My bad. I will do better next time. Who are you? I'm Leon Kennedy. I'm Chris Redfield. Okay. Yeah. Fucking with this level combination aesthetic. It's so primordial or whatever they said in Life is Strange. <laughs> Regarding the Eclipse 5 modifier, it's not that bad. This is the part of the Eclipse runs where you start to stray away from healing items and more towards damage reduction items. What? No, dude! Hey, hey, they're still useful. Just that their usefulness will come later, mid to late in the run.
So might as well just prioritize armor reduction now and then healing later. Oh, we were right there! Oh, come on, man. I'm not built for this. Wait. Oh, come on. I actually take it because uh, I'm kind of stupid when I get powerful in this game. Milky Crystal Wiz? Holy shit. I never actually thought I would get Milky Crystal Wiz. Now we can get the... Uh, uh, now we can get the thingamabjig. The, the, the altar. The nude altar. Yeah. Uh, do I just simply fly up there? Or do some crazy sh movement? Oh, it's on a cooldown. God fucking damn it. I hate you, game. I hate you so much. Oh my god, that wisp bitch slapped the two Rolex out of my hands. Oh, I'm broke. I belong to the projects now. No, did I? Oh, oh my god. No. Oh my god. No. Oh my god. Three gambling stations. <laughs> Can this get any better? Like, I love gambling. You gotta keep on going until you hit that jackpot. And even if you hit that jackpot, what does Goku say? Go even further beyond? The four digits in your wallet? No, no. No, I'm tweaking. I'm tweaking. Three gambling stations that are like $200 average. Look at my money. What is this shit? Modern America? <laughs> Get it? I love politics. Just kidding. I fucking hate this shit. Fuck, why did I have to kill myself last round? For a stupid new altar. Fuck, fuck. Not to be racist, but who let this blue creature in? Why? Why? It's only stage 4, 23 minutes. It's not even in their time yet. What the fuck? No, 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 no. No, 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 no. What the fuck? Electric enemies can kill themselves. Oh my god, no, 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 the, 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 the decreased healing thing is really hitting me now. I did not, I did not think it was that bad. Uh, uh, no, 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 no. Uh, I didn't think it was bad. I thought it was funny. Uh, uh, thank, thank you, healing station. Watch this, guys. 21 damage! <laughs> so I'm done with this fucking game. I'm done with this fucking game and how it handles auto-aim. I never thought a game could get auto-aim so fucking wrong. But no. Thank you, Risk of Rain. Thank you for- <laughs> What is it? What's the- <gasps> Is it Pocket? Oh, I'll take it, I guess. I love explosions, but I love pocket ICBM better. <laughs> no! No! I don't <laughs> Is
Is that a... No. No. Why? Why does that fucker exist? Oh. May God have witness. Or what was the saying? I don't even know anymore. I genuinely thought it would land. Ooh. <laughs> How much? Holy shit! I can't tell if this is bad or good. Oh wait, no, they're all grouped up. Never mind. And I had this. Oh god, no! Bleed! I forgot that thing exists. What? Oh no, I forgot I have this. Oh god. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no, I'm dead. I'm dead. I'm dead. I'm burning. Are you kidding me? I had to wait a minute, like almost two minutes, just to get my health up, just for the teddy bear to block it. Worth it, to be honest. Now I got me plasma shrimp, and now you have my erection. Are you kidding me? I could have just healed there. Did I mention plasma shrimp is like my favorite item in this game, alongside with head 5T and pocket, pocket ICB, pocket ICBM? <laughs> I just had a fentanyl crash for a second. America has a fat law crisis. I hate blind fish so much. I hate them so much. I hate them so much. I hate them so much. Hate them so much. <laughs> one loogie spit from one of these fuckers and you're literally at one HP. I don't get it. It's making me so hard. What's the item? Holy swelsy wosy. Holy swelsy wosy. Holy swelsy wosy. Thank you. Brilliant behemoth. Thank you for coming back for me. For me, and now I'm gonna suck you all. I'm gonna suck you all so hard. What the FNAF lore? I mean, I want pocket ICBM, but this can kind of satisfy me, I guess. Please give me pocket ICBM. I hate explosion attacks at this point. Give me pocket ICBM. <laughs> what the fuck did I just step on? <laughs> Shit. What the fuck? What a waste of my goddamn time. Yeah, this was the moment where he's just stopped picking up Brilliant Behemoth. <laughs> No! 
I don't usually go for this item, but I'm not taking any more chances. I feel like I'm cheating at this point. <laughs> but this is a modded Risk of Rain Eclipse uh, series, not a normal Risk of Rain. You're probably wondering why I'm not doing normal Risk of Rain. Uh, it's, it's kind of boring. <laughs> Mods are always bad. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy. Platonic Larva. A pretty Kino. I'm taking it, I don't care. Normally, Platonic Larva is a pretty, eh, what you call this? Pretty meh, pretty I don't want it item. Me and my friend group established. Because it just permanently, and we know what it does. I think you know what it does. Some of the corrupted items just suck in terms of gameplay. And it comes to power. But, but since I'm doing everything, well, almost everything in the Eclipse run, modded Eclipse run, I'll let it slide for now, I guess. This is probably the most goddamn expensive hell round ever. What the fuck? So many drones, so many gosh darn freaking sh gambling shrines. Oh my god. Oh. And I have to save up for the chest and the legendary. I mean, I have to save up for the legendary chest and the bazaar. What the fuck? Even if, even if I can find a bazaar, because the bazaar placement in this map is so fucking stupid. Right? Oh, don't tell me. What is this? Oh my boy. Oh, every enemy's a stone golem. Okay. I thought every enemy was gonna be a goddamn elite. I'm like, isn't that a little too early game? Isn't that a little too early for a late game? Isn't that a little too early? Please don't touch me. I'm hating this freaking Inca Inca Encoda's heritage. Are you kidding me? This fucking becomes so useless late game. Oh my god. Ooh! I suddenly love it now, what the fuck? <laughs> That feels good. I like brain stocks and I think they nerfed the filter when the brain stocks activated. That filter was so annoying. Thank fuck if they actually did. Or maybe it's just the mods. No! Drony! Oh fuck! Oh fuck! Holy fuck! Holy fuck! Holy fuck! That was the corrupted titan! What the fuck? <laughs> oh shit. What's up, bitch? Oh, 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 shit, I know. I was shopping. <laughs> oh, that scared me. What the fuck? Beyond the grave balls? I don't care. I don't care. I need the rockets. <sighs> whoa! Whoa! A purple one? Oh, that scared me. Oh, 
Oh, oh, what the fuck? I didn't even get to use the no tricord. <laughs> oh man. Yeah, this is why I hate fireworks late game. Because they keep on stealing my goddamn kills, especially when I have pocket ICBM. Did I just skip his phase? I I I skipped it! What? How? I broke so many moral codes that I swore in this game just to skip this stupid ass phase. And I just skipped it on the fly? That's not fair! Oh my god! Game! You made me use fucking spare drone parts! You made me! You made me use drones! No! Game! Why? Why you skip the phase now? Looking back, Eclipse 5 was probably the funniest Eclipse uh, I had to go through. Not because of the difficulty or anything, it's because <laughs> I tweaked so hard on every one after the first uh eclipse five run because it was such a good run and then i fumbled it so hard by me desperately trying to get a new altar and getting like severely backshotted and after that it was just all downhill ever since <laughs> can you give me some money please mom can you give me some money please don't fucking around mom give me some fucking money please what are you doing i'm your son mom don't fuck around like this give me some money out of all the Eclipse modifiers, I think this is like the most annoying one for me. Like, how dare you make me get less money per kill? Like, what the fuck? This is like below minimum wage pay. Fuck you. Oh my god. I can feel the poorness coming off this fucking, what you call this? This modifier. Oh, I am not going to enjoy this for the first couple of rounds, at least. No matter what modifier, Gups will always be a good source of money. Holy shit. Is that pocket a BM of the ah ah ah? I don't want to get two because I don't want to risk my only missile. Wait, no, I didn't. I forgot to buy. Oh no! Please don't be hell. I fucking hate this map even more and more and more. Oh. It's better be worth it. Ooh, okay. Actually worth it. Holy fuck, that took like almost 10 minutes. And I just gave up and fought the boss. Wait, was that all my- Oh, <laughs> That was all my- That was all my wax quails. No, come on, game. Oh, no! Just one. Oh, okay. Oh, Holy crap! That's so good! Holy shit, two overloading- oh, my, uh, 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 oh! I'm gonna pause here for just a second. So yeah, I got two over- I got two charge perforators or whatever it's called. And this sent me into a journey to find at least one polyute. But this journey was so bullshit. I guess like after n not playing for a year, I guess Risk of Rain 2 secretly had an update where corrupted items were fucking rare as shit. Peep the stage number 
And what's worse is that I didn't stop at stage 20 or something. I wasn't even near the fucking thing. What the fuck? You had three chances to give me poly you and you didn't give me a single one? Fuck you game. Polyute? Nar. Just give me Polyute. Jeebus, Chris. Oh my god. One more chance, game. Please don't make me loot forever. Oh. Ah! Holy shit. Double headset. Oh my god. I wonder how far I can fly. Well, I can't really test it now, but whatever. Okay, there's a thingy. Are you kidding me? I will not stop until I get a polyute so I can see Mithrix die to a lightning storm. I love Wongus, but give me polyute. Holy shit, I don't need 11 Wonguses. I'm done. I don't need 20 safer spaces. I think I'm pretty much safe at this point. Holy shit, if these two void fields don't give me at least one poly, I'm done. Not really, I'm just gonna continue looping, but I'm done. I fought a Kadabra. Oh, I farted. One? One survived this shit? Bitch. Oh yeah, we got the polyute and now Mithrix is gonna die. <laughs> oh. oh my goodness. What, what the fuck? Watch this. Whee! That didn't make? Hold up, I need to do this shit again. Oh, that didn't work. Is this Fortnite? <gasps> oh, you bitch! Ah! Oh my god, he got struck by like 20 million lightning, that's awesome. Fuck damn I. It was a good run. Oh, never mind. <laughs> it turns out that Mithrix has like a tiny bit of invulnerable. Not invulnerable. Mithrix is like vulnerable, like around the last few items he sucks. And you can attack him there and you get like half your shit back and in a split second and then you get all your items back if you kill him. <laughs> 
I kind of, I really want to do freaking, I'm doing it, I don't care. I don't care if this run doesn't count. I don't care if this run doesn't count, hopefully it does, but I'm doing Voidling. When I'm this powerful, I cannot ignore Voidling. The ultimate DPS check. Oh my god. I can't. No, no, no attacking. No attacking. No, no, no. No attacking. Ah. This is weird. <laughs> Please count, please count. Uh, spoiler alert, it did count. I'm not asking for you to make me come with your feet, bruh. Word, nigga. What?! The money modifier was the most annoying one. The cooldown modifier, this one, and the attack speed modifier, uh, a couple, like, eclipses ago, are probably gonna be the most difficult modifiers to run alongside the teleporter radius. In my opinion. Actually, no, this is more, this is actually kind of more annoying than the money one. Because this persists throughout the entirety of your run. At least with the money modifier, it, like, stops being an issue after, like, what, stage four or five? This one just, oh, God. Oh, my God. Uh, uh. Locked in. I'm in the flow state. I'm in the flow state. <laughs> really? You could have gave me something else? Like, I don't know, Fan? America has a fat lot. No, I'm dead. I'm dead. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Why? Oh, he's dead. Oh, no! Oh my god, I forgot I have Dio's. My best friend. survived that he survived that mario goomba stomp of the century my guy my guy guy my guga guga ginga <laughs> oh yeah you want a knuckle sandwich how about feet instead we do it again, we do it again, we do it again. With no friends. <laughs> oh shit, I love the headset. Oh my god. Oh my goodness.
oh, oh, oh my goodness. Oh my god, I actually tank a Mithrix ball sack. I actually tank a Mithrix ball sack. Hold, I, I tank a Mithrix ball sack. Suck my asshole, stupid fuck. Going into Eclipse 7, I thought it would fuck me because of the cooldown thing. But at this point, I already mastered uh, Huntress's general gameplay and movement, so the cooldown and attack shit doesn't really bother me at this point. Though, on Eclipse 8, something does bother me. And it's not the modifier. Now, Frieza, it's time you understood who I really am. This nigga got a middle part with a low taper, and now it's him. <laughs> just call me the drink. <laughs> the issue that I've been hyping ever since the start of this video, well, hyping in quotes because I only mentioned it like at the beginning of the video, is um that. Okay, I, I use OBS this time to record my Eclipse 8 runs. The problem is, for some reason, OBS just deleted the the configuration to hear game audio. So, there is no game audio. There is microphone audio, so you, you do hear me. But, there's no game audio, so... Substitute the lack of game audio. I will be commentating a lot more. If you can, if you hear voices in the back, it's because I'm watching a video. Yeah, call me a TikTok baby or whatever. But I just like having something in the background. If I sound depressed, it's because I hate commentary. <laughs> but no, I don't really hate commentary. I just suck at it. And me thinking that I suck a sack, like suck at it makes me talk like this. Maybe I get better the more I do this. Who knows? Also, this map is bleeding me the fuck dry. I already see like five payment options. I mean, five things to buy. But I just got safer spaces. And this is a really, really, really great item. Oh my god, it's so good. It's so good. It's, it's so freaking good. I'm like, as you can see on the top right, oh my god. I'm like near 10 minutes in looking at the footage of this OBS recording for my Eclipse 8. And I'm not gonna lie, I think I'm gonna kill myself the more I'm gonna do this. I'm never doing OBS recording ever again when I do Eclipse 8 runs. I'm just going to stick to clipping with NVIDIA. It's so boring. It's so dreadful. The reason why people hate editing is because they have to sit through hour-long fucking recordings. At least with fucking clips, you already picked out the funniest moment. Gore's too more like boar's boom, am I right guys? Okay, since I'm not going milky chrysalis and I have license cells, I really need headset. Because I do want I do not want to do the pillars on the commencement map. It sucks, I don't like the pillars. Rally point though, the home of the most bullshit. Uh, home of the most bullshit Huntress challenge. Not as bullshit as freaking captains, but bullshit nonetheless. And okay, while I'm here, I guess I can talk about the general strategy of Eclipse 8, because it does have the most potential butt fucking uh, modifier you ever face in these Eclipse runs. I'm not gonna bother going in depth of the modifier and how it works. The general gist of the modifier is that if you get hit by an enemy, it decreases your oh, total Lord. main health. It doesn't simply decrease... It, you, <laughs> okay, sometimes the newt portal is all the way fucking up there. It's so bullshit. <laughs> Trying to say is your max health, the, the number right 
of the slash in your health bar will decrease uh, every time you get hit. So the general strategy for di- for Eclipse Eight is to ditch healing items and grab re- damage reduction items. So the so the maximum health reduction effect lessens, or you just get fucking uh, safer spaces, which just negates enemy damage altogether. On stage three, I don't know what stage two. Stage two's uncanny. What? Oh my god, Grove Tender? What the fuck? What are you doing here? Go and tend to your little garden. Holy shit. Oh my god, fuck these Sonic enemies. So much. They're fast, annoying, and they spin. That's my thing, not yours. Fuck me, low-key editing this is fucking depressing as shit. The lack of sound and it's just the just keyboard clacking and mice. Well, normally I, I, I don't mind me, uh, me listening to my own keyboard. But just the lack of video game sound is just low-key depressing. And I have like two hours of footage left. Fuck. Help me. Fuck. No, I'm never doing OBS recordings ever again. Actually, uh, okay, I'm not gonna do it as. I'm just not gonna do it for a while. Fuck, I, I <laughs> clipping is just so much better because you're already a, you're you're hitting two birds with one stone. You're already picking out the favorite moment of the play session just by hitting one button instead of doing a fucking. Entire recording of that once play session. I love you and G Forks experience. I love you so much. I love you. The only like pro to fucking recording with OBS instead of just the clipping method is that you, you, with OBS recording, you get to capture everything from that play session or recording. You don't get to miss out on any minute details or any of that. With clipping, you're uh, you're only capturing like whatever time you set it to, like to the last 45 seconds, the last 30 seconds, whatever. That's like the only pro, but the rest is just inferior to clipping. Like clipping is just way better. I love clipping so much. Uh, I grew up, I grew up with Xbox One clipping. Uh, call it a bias, but fuck you, OBS. I just realized something really fucking sad i think okay so how my microphone works is that it has like this i wouldn't call it a button you, like you tap on it it's not really a button because it's really smooth but you tap on it and it just mutes your it mutes my microphone uh i think it's around this time where i accidentally tapped on it without looking it's right behind my microphone so i so i barely notice it 
And uh, now my entire recording for a good chunk of this fucking OBS recording is now mute. So the audio, so the fucking footage is f- completely mute. I'm actually going crazy. Oh my god. Fuck. In editing, I'm going to add like music and shit. But like in recording, it's... It's like genuinely depressing to go through. Holy shit. I know me bitching about my uh, OBS recording being shit is just sad and pretty annoying, but I just can't help it. Also, uh, also the recording being completely mute makes it harder to find funny moments in my run. There are generally funny moments in the run where... I either do a stupid play or have a f- stupid reaction. But since everything is mute, it's going to be like 20 times harder to find these funny moments. So I'm just... Fuck, man. I might have to... S- I might have to start um, skipping big chunks of the run. Because I cannot... I just can't help it. If you are hearing this, I uh, I appreciate for you staying and not minding the lack of game audio. <laughs> if you are hearing this, <laughs> so yeah, I should probably talk about other general strats with Eclipse A. Uh, this is why I like movement characters a lot, like Huntress and Loader and Mercenary, because they can just ignore damage by sh- moving around. So that's a good way to deal with Eclipse A, just moving around. If you're a character like Engineer or uh, Rex, Rex, 
then uh, I honestly don't know how to. Maybe engineer. Actually, no, engineer has some ways, but I honestly don't know how Rex can survive Eclipse Eight. <laughs> After my little bitch fit earlier about how shitty my OBS recording was, I managed to calm myself down by just thinking of a new general way to edit Eclipse 8 from then on in this video. It's- I'm just gonna like- cat. I'm just gonna keep the clips of me fighting the stage bosses because those are like the most intense part of each stage from then on at this point. Not to spoil you how this eclipse runs go, but this one went pretty well. From like I had a really good start and a really good middle, but the end I won't tell you how it went. Since my legendary I get from this run is a spare drone part, I'm going for a drone centric uh, way to uh, be Mithrix, especially since I have the s drone boss item normally i don't do this because it's because i want to fight i want to fight bosses on my own terms but since uh these are eclipse runs and there's plenty of them uh i gotta get these over with so i'm just gonna uh, I'll, I'll allow drones to handle mythrix <laughs> As of recording this, on this specific time, on this specific day, at this a specific part of the recording and editing, stick, thing, magic, uh, the official Risk of Rain Instagram account just uh, uh, posted that they're gonna be showcasing more of the Secrets of the Storm DLC uh, tomorrow at 10 a.m., which I'm fucking hyped for. I thought I thought Survivors of the Void was gonna be the only. Risk of Rain DLC, but two? Holy shit. And the preview we got? This shit looks f like shit from Fantasy D&D. Oh my god, I'm fucking hyped. Can't wait to see the reveal. I don't know if it's just me, uh, Huntress, or the uh, items I got, but I thought the Eclipse A modifier would break me, bend me over, and all that. But I, from what I remember from this run, I barely got the debuff which Eclipse A modifier uh, puts you on. Yeah, so, and I can't tell if it's because how sh how much movement I have, or just how much teddy bears I have, but yeah, yeah, the Eclipse 8 modifier doesn't scare me. Maybe not, maybe not now, but maybe with like a different survivor, different circumstances, it would definitely fucking break me. The more I remember this run, the more I realized this, how much uh, I just flew by the middle part of this run, and I can't tell if it's because of the, the items I, ha I got, or the fact that I'm playing the top three best survivor in this game but yeah i honestly don't know how i mean uh, how uh i honestly i forgot how smooth this middle part of the run is
Oh my god, I've been muted for so long. Oh no. Oh my god, that poor lamp. Well, I don't do my iconic victory dance for nothing. Okay, I guess just this once I can do it for nothing. Ew, ew, ew. Okay, I guess I can do one more for nothing. Ew. And that concludes my modded Risk of Rain Eclipse Runs for Huntress. If you like the journey, please leave a like. Hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button. I'm only saying this because it lights up when you say it. Please. <laughs> I'm going to keep on doing these runs. I, 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 uh, I love these. I love Eclipse Runs. They're pretty fun. I'm going to be doing Mercenary next. Cause he's my he's my uh, favorite character. He's my main. Huntress is my secondary. Mercenary is my main. So yeah, uh, ignore the Hollow Knight. <laughs> Eclipse runs do take a long time to make uh, to f make and edit and finish. So please be patient if you if you are waiting for uh, the next Eclipse video. But I'll sprinkle in some other videos in the meantime, so not to keep the channel dead or anything. So, yeah. See you next video, I guess. Yeah. Uh, I don't know how to make an outro.